countdown for the Cotton Bowl Classic between the University of Memphis football playing Tigers and Penn State Nittany Lions that one day, as a matter of fact, is really less than seven to 20, 24 hours. I heard Richard Ransom do the math for 17 hours. I think that's what he said. The 12 and 1, 17th ranked Tigers facing their biggest test of the season against the 10 and 2, 10th ranked Nittany Lions. Clayton Collier is live in Arlington, Texas, AT&T Stadium, better known as Jerry's World. Jock, the Memphis Tigers held a shortened practice this morning. They call it Fast Friday, and no one has had a faster December than Ryan Silverfield. He began the month as the offensive line coach. He ends it making his head coaching debut in the Tigers' first ever New Year's Six Bowl. This one's obviously pretty darn special. Um, I'll, this is a game I'll never forget for many reasons, and we're going to go out there and, and give everything we have, and I think our guys have prepared the right way the last few weeks in order to, you know, have our chance on Saturday, tomorrow, and, and give everything we got, and we're excited for that opportunity. They just, they understand how to overcome adversity and uh, have stepped up to every challenge. So I think that was, a, that was something that kind of really jumped out to me is, is something that was really impressive that they did this season. You know, looking at that trophy, it's for the people of Memphis, it's for the 901, it's for our program, it's for our community. And to me, it'd be an honor to be able to bring that back for our entire city. And uh, look, the kids have poured in. I know they're going to play their tails off, but I'd like to have that thing sit next to me on the flight home tomorrow as well. Now, Ryan Silverfield also said that bar none, this Penn State defense will be the best they face this year. No doubt about it. He will need his offense clicking on all cylinders if he wants that trophy riding shotgun with him on the plane ride home. At AT&T Stadium, Clayton Collier, Local 24 Sports.